When I was here on Monday, it was even more dramatic than it is today. The strange sight first caught shoppers' eyes a few days ago. He estimated tens of thousands um, and scattered evenly all across this entire parking area. It's still there today. Thousands of bees either dying or already dead. And we've never heard of anything like this at this scale. I mean, we've got 60, 65 trees. Um, we're seeing these bee deaths underneath all of these trees. Conservationists Mace Vaughn and Rich Hatfield were on site today doing some detective work filling test tubes with samples to take back to a lab where they'll try and verify the theory that the bees are being poisoned by insecticide. Linden trees like these are frequently treated for treated with insecticides for aphids because they'll often rain down nectar or honeydew. Further evidence suggesting that it's some sort of an insecticide kill, but we don't know for sure. But there's also a chance it's not insecticide at all. And they're also taking pollen samples and testing the buds and the flowers from the trees. Well, we can't say for sure that it, that it is something that they put on the tree because these trees are European linden trees, which have been known to be toxic to bees. They hope to have an answer within a couple of days. And to see something like this, it really, what it does for me is it brings it home that we've got a lot of work to do to understand how to not harm these insects that are critical to our food supply.